Lieutenant Colonel Shaw will be presiding along with Metropolitan Methodius of the Greek Orthodox Metropolises of Boston and New England at an ecumenical prayer service on Saturday at a place familiar to Catholic TV viewers, a place we all love, the Mission Church. Dr. Vita Nicastro is here in the living room to tell us about it, and you've also brought a guest, too, with you, too. Jay, so. so good to see you again, and thank you very much for inviting us. Look, I just want to tell our viewers about this extraordinary opportunity to draw together with an unprecedented array of our brothers and sisters in Christ. Mm -hmm. My guest, Pastor Jeffrey L. Brown, Associate Minister at 12th Baptist Church in Boston, is going to be here with us uh, tomorrow at the Mission Basilica, that famous and beautiful mm -hmm. place, to commemorate the modern martyrs. This is in direct response to Pope John Paul II's understanding that you know we have had more Christians give the ultimate witness this century than in all the 19 centuries before that. Yeah. And that, that witness is still going on, and in fact, uh, uh, many men and women, uh, pastors, daily put themselves in difficult situations and perhaps harmful situations because they want to spread the message of Jesus Christ and the gospel. That's right. You know, we think that they're far away. We think it's happening in some other part of the world. But many of these communities are actually represented with us. You know, tomorrow we're going to have a large delegation from the Coptic Orthodox Church. You know, when we have a church burning here in the United States, that's major, major news. They had 70 church burnings in one day last year. So, you know, we're living in a time when we really have discovered a new era in the church. This is the new era of adversity, and we all know, and my PhD is in history, that adversity is the precursor of revival and renewal in the church's life. So I think this is a time for all of us to reappropriate how precious this gift actually is, this gift of our faith. And that's what we're going to do tomorrow with not just our Catholic brothers and sisters, but our Protestant, Orthodox, Evangelical, pastors like Pastor Brown, who, as you said, go out every day seriously to put their lives on the line in order to bring the gospel and to bring hope and a new way of life on our city streets, as well as the many communities who have come to these shores and even to our city in Boston mm -hmm. from lands where persecution is going on not 1,700 years ago, but today. And so people know we are not ignoring Pastor Brown and asking him questions, but we had a problem with the mic, so we just wanted you to come out here, but I know we were going to talk to you, Pastor. But we, I will give you a big wave and a and hello. So, Vito, tell me, how did these different faith communities relate to one another? You know, um, it's fascinating that you should ask this. I, I want to, first of all, thank the community of Sant'Egidio, which is a lay Catholic movement and one of their leaders and I were talking last night, she said, the heart of Sant'Egidio is the love of the poor and the life of prayer. And out of their life of prayer and their reflection on Pope John Paul II's you know, witness that you know, it's time for us to recognize the modern martyrs and the fact that we had twice as many this year as we did the year before, that community and my office, the Office for Ecumenical and Interreligious Affairs, said, wouldn't it be remarkable if the community of Sant'Egidio, which every year recognizes the modern martyrs in commemoration of John Paul II's invitation, wouldn't it be remarkable if we opened that to the maximum degree, open it all the way to every Christian community in Boston, and we don't even know how wide that is. Mm -hmm. We have discovered it. It's been a revelation for us in the process of building new relationships because I believe that in order to honor all the martyrs, we have to all do it together. Hmm. Because what I found is it's not their martyrs and our martyrs. Catholic teaching says that all the martyrs are in full communion right now. Mm -hmm. I want to get this straight. If people are watching and they want to go, and they're here in the Boston area, New England, it's tomorrow at the Mission Church in Roxbury. And at what time? At 2 o'clock. And the parking is good. You know, <laughs> miraculously by the special intervention of the Holy Spirit we've obtained extra parking spaces so come a little early our parking scout will be on the front steps to give you some directions just uh, swing by the the Basilica that beautiful church and you will experience I'm convinced the Holy Spirit in our midst because as I was saying earlier all the martyrs belong to all of us because they belong entirely to Christ mm -hmm. 
and we will really appropriate the riches and the wealth and the treasure of their witness and understand that that is our inheritance too and how much we need to share that. Mm -hmm. Together in Christ. That's right. Together, Together in, in Christ. Christ. Absolutely. Well, Vito, thank you so much for being with us. And Pastor Brown, again, I apologize about All the right. mic, but it's great to have you out here. Uh, and best of luck on tomorrow. It's a, it's a great event, not for just the Archdiocese and the church, but for all religious, religious communities. Mission yeah, so. Church, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Saturday. Be there or be square. <laughs> See you then. See you there.